Hi people, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karva and in this video I'm going to talk about movies which I really like. So if you remember a few weeks ago I posted a video on my favorite books or I even talked about books which you must read in this new year and I got a lot of comments about people uh, saying that ma'am we would also like to know what kind of content you like consuming when it comes to movies. So I would just like to tell you I am a big movie fan. I've been a fan of Bollywood uh, but in this video I'm going to stick to my favorite top 5 Bollywood movies and TV shows not even Bollywood I would say because I'm going to talk about something else as well in this video so I would rather like to name it as my favorite Hindi movies and TV shows okay so um, I would just like to tell you that you know there are a lot of other movies which I like I'm not going to do justice to those movies since I'm not including the, uh, them in this video so there are movies like Hitchki, Chichore, there are movies like Super 30 I've been reviewing these uh, movies a lot of times on my Instagram I've been telling my students to watch it whenever uh, you know they get time so I'm not talking about those inspirational movies they are fantastic Mary Com, Chak De India uh, I don't know what to say about them they are super amazing but in this video I'm going to stick to my favorite like the movies which I can watch hundred times and still never get enough of them so I'm going to talk about those in this particular video so let's get started okay so first in the list is Dear Zindagi I'm sure that those who are following me on Instagram and Facebook they're like we knew it you've been sharing so much about this movie uh, so many heart touching lines from these movies that we knew that it's it's your favorite so yes you're not mistaken this is my favorite and i'm going to share the reason why this movie is so close to my heart so basically it's a story of this girl Kiara, uh, played by Alia Bhatt and there's this Dr. Jhagir Khan played by Shah Rukh Khan he's a psychologist now the story revolves around Kiara we find that she's a girl who is in her early 20s she has a lot of aspirations in terms of her career she wants to be a cinematographer and she has a lot of dreams and aspirations at the same time her entire life is all like all damaged as in damaged in the sense there are family issues then she has gone through a series of breakups also the man she loves the most uh, is also impacting her career so a lot of misunderstanding is happening and her brain cannot take it any further she goes through a mental breakdown and she doesn't know what to do with her life so when I look at her character, I find that, okay, this is what happens with almost every person who, who is in his or her early 20s because we all have a lot of issues. Family issues, hai, they don't trust us or maybe uh, there are uh, family foundations, regulations, which we find very annoying. Then obviously heartbreaks and relationship is the uh, flavor of the day. Also at the same time, you find that you try to do so much with your career, but nothing is falling into proper place. So your mind is all shattered and then you decide to do something with it. So she meets this psychologist uh, Shah Rukh Khan and she decides that I need to go to DD. Now who is DD? DD is Dimakka doctor. So this movie breaks the mental health stigma. Uh, the movie shows that we all need somebody who we can go and talk about our life because hum sab ko agar koi bhi body mein problem hoti hai, we go to the respective doctors if i have some issue with um, uh, like my head i might go to a doctor if there's an issue with my teeth i might go to a dentist but hamare dimag mein agar kuch emotional locha hota hai do we ever think that we need to go and meet a psychologist and have a session Pata to chale, bother kya kar raha hai. We just try to fix it up upar upar se. We never go deep inside and see what is the root cause. And this movie does the same. So there's a series of psychology therapy sessions which happens between uh, Alia Bhatt and Shah Rukh Khan and which tells us amazing insights about life. There's a beautiful line which Shah Rukh Khan says that when we understand ourselves well, what we say about what we say about what we say about it, we don't have to worry about it. So if you're bothering what people say about what we say about it, that means you don't have to understand yourself yet. You're just trying to live with that fake mask on your face that needs to break down a very beautiful movie i think every man and a woman who is in his or her 
early 20s is going to relate to. Make sure you watch it if you haven't. Next in the list is Wake Up Sid. Now, I don't think I have ever seen anybody criticizing this movie. This is such a wonderful movie that no matter who has seen this movie, they're going to love it. It's, it's that. And I think all of you must have watched it. But still, since it's in my favorite list, I thought of sharing it with you. So it's a movie about this girl Aisha and Sid, uh, played by Konkana Sen and Ranbir Kapoor. Now, Konkana Sen is a very simple uh, girl. She tries to find her independence in a new city, Mumbai. And you, if you look at her character, she's very simple and she's like the girl next door. On the other hand, we have Sid who has his own issues. So this man, he is from a very rich family. So he doesn't want to work. He just wants to party. And gradually, when he looks at Aisha, he understands what independence, true independence really means. And he even takes up a job. And then both of us, uh, both of them start having a beautiful life together. They start living together. But then what is important and what is beautiful here to understand is that it's a very different love story. It's not like those DDLJ Kuch Kuch Hota Hai stories, which never happens in our day to day life. This is a story which I think every girl would like to live. It's a very simple, very practical story, which is going to teach you a lot of things about life very in very subtle way. Okay, there's this book I have already mentioned in my previous video, Norwegian Wood, which I uh, got to see in Aisha's hand and it just came into my mind that okay, she's reading a book in the movie, I want to read that too. So uh, then it became my favorite. So uh, this movie is going to impact your life in numerous ways. There's a beautiful line in the movie which says that goals paane ki khushi tab hoti hai, jab kisi ka saath ho, us khushi ko celebrate karne ke liye. And then we realize that yes, that happens. We are lost so much into career that hum bhool jate hain ki un goals ko, un milestones ko reach karne ke baad mein hume khushi tab hogi when we have people who love us, uh, beside us and we both celebrate together. Now that I've talked about two movies from the contemporary period, I would like to take you back to the classical time and talk about a movie which is very close to my heart. And the movie is Anand. Uh, it's a story of a can cancer patient who has this everlasting flame of joy in his heart. If you've seen Kal Ho Na Ho, uh, that movie was a remake of Anand. But I would not talk about Kal Ho Na Ho because I think that the movie has not done justice to the original story. Anand is beautiful. My father was a big lover of old Bollywood movies and he introduced me to the classics like Kabhi Kabhi, Silsila. And out of all these, Anand became my all-time favorite. Uh, it has uh, Rajesh Khanna as the main protagonist and, you know, he was the first person, I think he was the biggest childhood crush I could ever have. Looking at the kind of person he is, he says, Babu Musha, zindagi badi honi chahiye, lambi nahi. It doesn't matter how much you live, but you should add life to the years you are living. So it's about just enjoying the moment and just to be grateful for being alive and thriving. This is such a big blessing. Okay. And this man actually talks about how beautifully you can live life even if you know that it can end any day. There are beautiful songs in this movie by Mana Day. And uh, once you start, you know, watching that movie, you'll be like, okay, Old classical Bollywood movies can never be remade into anything more beautiful than what they were originally. So it's, it's a beautiful movie. I can't say anything about this movie. I would just suggest you to watch it. And once you watch it, I want to see your reactions in the comment section below. Next in line is Zindagi Gulzar Hai. So if you remember in the beginning of the video, I told you that I'm not going to talk about Bollywood. I'm going to talk about Hindi TV shows and movie. And that is the reason why I've included Zindagi Gulzar Hai here. It's not an Indian TV show. It's a Pakistani TV show, but a very, very, very beautiful Pakistani TV show. Uh, this entire TV show is like 26 episodes long. And once you start watching it, you'll be like, okay, this is indeed beautiful. You might find it a bit uh, slow at first, but once you get the pace, you'll be like, oh my God, this can make me cry. This can make me laugh. But what is more important and what is more uh, beautiful about this show is that it is going to make you think. So it's about this man 
uh, Fawad Khan, okay, he plays the character of Zaroon and then we have Kashaf who is the female lead and they both are very opposite, okay, so that opposite attract love story is what is the major theme but then there is more to it, so Zaroon is from an upper class family, he's a big time flirt charm uh, very amazing hai uska. he's a heartthrob like once you've made Zaroon you're like oh my god nobody can not fall in love with this man he's that and then we have Kashaf who is very serious she has this independence reflected on her face she's a self-made woman and at the same time she's constantly at war with her fate so she's from a family where uh, uski mother ko uski father ne chhod diya hai and she has this thing ki mujhe kisi bhi aadmi pe depend nahi karna hai so that feminine thing the feminist is there along with that there's this hardness that rudeness uh, on how she behaves on how she talks but then gradually they both fall in love with each other and gradually you find that they both change as a person just me jo flaws the wo dheere dheere samne wale insaan ke saath uska jo relation hai usse wo better hote jate and at the end you find that both of them have a very different concept of happiness altogether so the happiness was redefined at the end and what is beautiful here for every female to watch is how Kashaf is so independent and yet she understands what independence is really all about. I am like I can really relate to what Kashaf is. I am that woman that would never like to uh, be feminine as in I would never like a man to open the door of the car or maybe to pay the bills on the date. But then when you look at the character dynamics, you will understand that, okay, uh, we all look at it from one perspective. There are a lot of other perspectives from which the same story can be narrated. So it's beautiful and it is going to teach you so much about life. It's a love story, yet at the same time, it is going to uh, take you to a different level of philosophy altogether. There is a lot of ri diary writing which happens throughout the episode. So uh, every day at the end, you find Kashaf and Zaroon sitting at their respective homes writing a diary and talking about what they think about each other and it's very very interesting to understand that okay how a man behaves and what the man actually thinks so um, I would just request you that if you've not watched it try watching it and even if you don't want to watch the entire series you might watch the trailer and see if you like it and if you like it then don't stop before you complete all the 26 episodes. Last but not the least, I cannot end this video without talking about Little Things, a TV series which I think is very dear to my heart. Uh, so three seasons abhi tak aa chuke hain and the main roles are played by Dhruv Sehgal and Mithila Palkar and it's, it's on Netflix I guess. Uh, the first season is on YouTube and the last two seasons are on Netflix. So uh, it's a beautiful web series which talks about live in relationship in the most relatable and adorable manner. I can just summarize it in the, that manner. So it is a story where what happens in this couple's life is showcased. So all the small misunderstandings, small little things which happens in day to day life which we don't really capture in any movie or maybe in any Bollywood romance is talked about in this TV show. So uh, the ideological difference, how they both look at each other, how they both look at each other's life, their idea of happiness, how they both relate to each other's family, all of that is being talked. So third season was released like a month ago and uh, I was so surprised to see that these guys, they have moved ahead of the live-in relationship dynamics and they've talked about other, other little things that matter beyond the romantic relationship. So they've talked about how they connect to their old school friends, how they connect to their parents who are aging, how they connect to their own nostalgia and how they still try to understand each other and be happy. So uh, in this third season, they both were in a long distance relationship. Dhruv moved to do a research and Kavya, uh, who's uh, played by Mithila Palkar, was staying in Mumbai. And they still had problems with the live-in relationship, the long distance relationship and how they're trying to sort that out. And what is this beautiful bond that makes them stay together? So these are two mature individuals who are going to fight on those little things and you're going to enjoy looking at the dynamics. So uh, if you love romantic series, I think 
you should watch it uh, i know that you're going to kill me because i've only talked about romance all this while but then i am really sorry to tell you that that's my genre that's what i love it's good mythology is good but then i can't see mythology thousand times but i can definitely cherish love stories thousand times so i think i've given you some really fantastic romantic movies and tv shows that you can watch and pass your time and if you have any other suggestions or if you want me to make other videos on the content i like watching i would like to know that in the comment section below if you are really interested to know more about my likes my dislikes then feel free to put that in the comment section below and i'm going to soon put up a video on the same so that's it for this video lecture but before you leave make sure you subscribe Make sure you go to the social media platforms and follow my pages and also you visit my website and check out the demo materials so that you don't get late in registering yourself for the online course for UGC Net English Literature. So with that note, I would like to take your leave. We are going to meet very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.